So hello everyone, and today we have with us here Dr. Roy, and he's here to share his experiences with us. So Mr. Eric, please tell us something about yours. Hi Sonia, thank you for having me here. So I am here, I am basically from Siliguri. I graduated last year. Uh, I did BTEC from Siliguri itself and uh, it was electronics and communication. Well, uh, after that, I tried for a few companies and I got placed in uh, two or three companies and I chose CGI over all of them. Uh, yeah, so oh. uh, that is basically from my educational background and uh, Rather than that, I, I do travel a lot. I, I uh, love traveling. I love making videos. Uh, I've done uh, all over India on my motorcycles. So yeah, these are my hobbies. So could you please be brief us about your company that you're currently working with? Well, uh, I'm currently working with CGI and it's a Canada-based IT solution company, the IT sector. Uh, headquarters in Canada and uh, in, in India, we have the headquarters in Bangalore. So uh, it's the same company which, which uh, uh, provides the solution to different clients, like the server solutions or the application solutions. So, yeah, okay. it's a basically so please a elaborate. IT consultancy. Okay. Mm -hmm. So please elaborate on your job profile. Uh, my job profile is I'm a system engineer, but uh, currently the project I'm into in there I am performing a role of incident manager uh, in where when an uh, application goes down or there is some problem with the application or if a server goes down or there is a network issue, then, then a ticket creates. When the ticket has been created, according to the severity, like uh, the ticket has been created with maybe it's affecting large number of people, then, then a high ticket is created or it's uh, affecting more than thousand people or 2000 people, then a critical ticket is created. When high or critical ticket is being created, then the incident manager roles comes in. So what we do is the ticket is created. We come into the bridge call that a call, we, we organize a call and we take the user who is using the, uh, who has created the ticket. We take the user, we take the application support team. We take the owner of the application who owns that application. So we take all of them. We take the system admin, like the Unix or the Wintel who works in this uh, OS. So we take all of them, we try to resolve it as soon as possible. And from the beginning to the end of the resolution, whatever process happens, we are responsible for that. Like we take the incident from the beginning, we resolve it, and uh, the entire process is goes under the incident management role. So during an interview process, how was the question and answer process handled at your company? Uh, I, I applied here uh, in the role of Wintel. Wintel is uh, Intel in Windows. So it's a basically cloud. Uh, we, we work in cloud. I was certified in that. So uh, I, in, I was interviewed for that and I was asked basic questions about Wintel and nothing, nothing uh, uh, excess because we we are just fresher and we are not uh, uh, very well to do with the not experienced with the company in our terms and conditions so so uh, we just it was asked about basic knowledge of Intel and Unix that's it. So you know like skills are the very most important thing mm -hmm. which is needed in every profession. That's right. So would you please throw up a light on the skills that are needed for this job profile? Okay, so uh, in in this IT sector field, uh, there's a myth like you if you want to go go into the IT sector, then you have to like be good at coding or you have to code well to get a place in a better company. But it's not the fact. Like in an IT sector, there are fifty percent I would say coding, and the rest the rest fifty percent would be uh, there are different kind of profiles. Like there is. Uh, uh, Unix, there is Wintel, there is incident management, uh, there, there would be a cloud, there would be automation, there will be machine learning, the n number of things that you can learn and you can uh, grow up your skills in. So you don't have to code on each and everything. Like coding is one part and the rest part you can do. If, if people like uh, they, in, in colleges in general, they are not taught that uh, other factors that are coming in today's world. So they are just taught in 
uh, they have to code well, then only they will get placed in this company. But no, that's not the right thing. If you learn well or different technologies, there are n number of technologies you can learn. There are Windows servers, there are uh, uh, Google Cloud, AWS, n number of technologies you can learn in. And uh, uh, what I personally did was uh, after I graduated uh, from uh, with electronics and communication, I was not very fond of coding. So uh, I never chose coding. I never practiced Java or C++ or Python, any such things. Yeah, I did. I did uh, given the exams because I had to pass the engineering, but <laughs> I was not, I, I was not very uh, good on, in those. And I was not very passionate about those as well. So what I did was uh, I learned uh, networking. I learned uh, Unix. I learned uh, uh, Windows Server, that is Wintel. So uh, these are the three technologies I learned. And uh, based on that, I got my job profile as system engineer. Okay. So you know, what are the resources and the platforms for gaining the skills that you mentioned? Would you tell well, us something about it? Yeah. Today's generation, the generation we are living in is a digital generation, right? So in the digital generation, everything is free. Like you can learn coding in YouTube. You can learn... Uh, there are n number of platforms then there you can learn your skills so youtube is a very good platform that you can learn your skills well i personally learned 90 percent of my stuff through youtube i know that there are many blogs or something i just googled there are many many websites that you can find out you don't have to take like 40 000 50 000 or 10 000 rupees course to earn a skill or learn a skill you can do it for free it's a digital generation today yeah so digital or the social generation i would say yeah so it's free you can learn it from everywhere okay. all right so would you advise our future aspirants do you want to give some tips about how to crack like like i said there are many people like me who didn't like coding i get messages in linkedin like uh, hi i don't like coding so what what would i do uh, where do i learn coding and how to get in the company because uh, college is saying me like don't uh, you have to learn coding or else you can't you can't do or you can get in the company you have to score well but uh, what i say is no coding is just a part there are n number of things just explore new things just try finding out new ways and uh, uh, there are many things like many technologies i in this nine months of i'm nine months i'm working in this company in this nine months of time i've learned 12 technologies so uh, there are many technologies you can go on. There is, uh, there's, what I would suggest you is uh, go to any technology which is related to cloud because cloud is the future because anything today's generation, we are not, we will not work on physical hardware. We will work on the cloud. We will, will uh, there will be hardware placed in uh, maybe say Ontario or Toronto. Um, but we have to work from our home. Like we are working from our home, right? So, but but the project I'm handling now, it's based in uh, Ontario. So I'm working on their uh, servers from my home. So everything is based on cloud. So if you learn any technology which is based on cloud, that would be very helpful. I would name some like Google Cloud is there, uh, Microsoft Azure is there, and uh, uh, AWS is there, of course. AWS has a wide, wide customer base. So AWS is Amazon Web Services. So uh, there are uh, courses in Amazon. You can learn it for free, but if you want to get certified, then you can. You have to pay a certain amount of money in the Amazon or Microsoft official websites. You can get certifications done, and uh, these certifications uh, do do have a lot of value in the market. So at last, I would like to add a one more question. What mm -hmm. has been your experience overall working as a system engineer up till now? Well, it was very nice. I would say the first three months, two, two and a half months, I, I was learning technologies. And then, then when I started working on the floor, I, I directly interacted with the client, which is based in Canada. And uh, my project is, is uh, like, is the... Uh, project which it's called bell bell canada bell is the same service provider like we have in in india we have geo 
Bell is in Canada. So Bell is the same company which invented telephone. It's the company of Alexander Graham Bell. So uh, I'm working for them. So I'm directly working with the client. I interact with the client. I, I learn a lot of things. I've learned a lot of things in these nine months. In the total four years of my engineering career, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't learn this much. What I've learned in this nine nine months of my uh, CGI experience. So uh, yeah, once you are into the company, once you are into the field, then you know what what exactly you like. You can explore new things. If you don't like one thing, you can always jump into the another thing. Technology is evolving. Uh, everything is evolving. IT sectors is evolving. Our lives are evolving. So you have to adapt new new experiences, new things, and you have to grow. You can't just stick to one particular thing and uh, and be. I will. I will. Uh, uh, I will take my entire career in, in this particular Java or say Python. But you can't do that. If you want to grow up, you have to take up new skills, and that's it. So thank you so much for your time and efforts. And thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us. It was amazing having you out here. So would you like to say something? Yes, Sonia, thank you so much for having me as well. And uh, it was a good interaction. Thank you. And uh, I saw some of the videos of your channel. It was really good, positive. Thank you so much.